Welcome back, episode 9. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. The vibes are good. I don't know if you can tell. You know, the last video that came out, I actually shot that uh, day before night. So, wait. Okay, okay. I'll explain. It's Tuesday right now. The last video I shot that on Sunday night, and I was like. I'm so tired. I'm like, what am I doing with my life? You know the usual. The point is, I walked out this morning and I'm a new person. It's all it takes. One good workout session, life changing. Okay, let me sit down now. Oh, also, I didn't get to show you the corner of the art room in the daytime, so let me show you. Also, wait, you know what? I've always wanted to do these. A fit check. Let's do it. Oh, I'm not wearing enough jewelry though. But you know what? Okay. Fit check without jewelry. That's not much, is it? Okay, you know what? Let me just. I always saw other people do this and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. Okay. You ready? Video has had a very chaotic start. Okay. You ready? You ready? You ready? Okay, okay. Focus. So fit check. My jacket, thrifted. These jeans, all not thrifted, glasses. And socks, stolen from my mum. And jewelry, got this in Kapiri Coast. It says A, which is uh, my initial. And ring, I actually made this at a ring workshop. It basically says K and A. And it has two little hearts, which is cute. All right, so, yes, feeling cute. I feel like denim on denim, people gave me so much for this. And like, why? It's cute. First of all, I love a matching set. I feel like it could match even better, but it does the job. It's like close enough for me to just pull it off. Inside I'm wearing, why am I panting? Inside I'm wearing, what am I wearing? It's like a, oh, Uniqlo. The top which has the bra inside so that you don't have to wear a bra because bras require a certain level of dedication that I don't have today or most days. Oh, just saw some jewelry. I could actually wear this. But like, that's cute. Got these from Bali. I visited there last year. And yeah, literally from like street vendors. Great purchase. It's cute. I love a bit of pearl and I love these kind of pants. I love, I love streetwear. I think that kind of style is so my life. But at the same time, I also really love um, classic, timeless, almost like business, baddie, she's got her life together vibe. So when the two of those styles meet, that's me. Okay, now that I've gotten distracted, let's get back to the video. I was gonna say, I feel excited to create again. For this video, I'm going to be going to the museum and doing some sketching. Be embracing being outside of my comfort zone in this video. Hey! So pack with me and then we head out. Keep it really light, simple, and take you on this journey with me. Let's start with a checklist. If you know me, you know I love a list. That's the only way I feel like I have some control in this life where you can actually not have any control. Pens, pencils, one sketchbook. I'm actually doing a sketchbook for August, which will come out in one of the episodes for Kid Diaries towards the end. So stay tuned. I want to take my glasses. If I take some watercolor, it could be really fun. I'll be able to add a lot of colors into it. However, I haven't gone out sketching in a public place in a long time, especially a museum where I'll have to be walking around a lot. So it could get inconvenient. The focus of this video is to go out and practice some live sketching. So no, I'm not gonna be taking watercolor, it'll be pencils. What I'll do is I'll also write color pencils. Lastly, let's put a goal. And my goal for this video is to do three pages of artwork one of them we can use pencil for it one uh, we can use pen and then we'll see if you want to use color pencil or any of the pencils or pens again let's see if i manage to finish my goal this could be really interesting i've actually never blogged in public so it's really outside my comfort zone as well 
and we will just we'll just have to see how i go all right i know we said we're about to go sketching but before that i have just found out that i might have a new freelance gig which definitely takes priority living that freelance life right now i am going to a meeting this is such a detour honestly i don't think this can be a sketching vlog anymore i think this is going to be a day in my life as a creative or something i'm really hoping it goes well cuz honestly starting off as a freelance creative you really need to network which is something i'm learning as i'm going on this journey okay talk to you man If you remember watching my video on me going through an existential crisis, I was right here. Let me just be a tourist and show you the sky tower. How beautiful is that? So that's where I'm going to the Auckland War Memorial. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so shy. We're gonna go inside, do some sketching. Oh, there's this girl out there who I think she's having a bit of a solo day. Let me show you. I'm really embracing being outside of my comfort zone in this video. Hey! Okay, I just said hi to a bunch of kids. This is how we enter, right? Yeah. Okay, and is it okay if I'm doing a sketching video here? I'm taking it off my drawing. Is that fine? Of course. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Do you want to say hi to my video? Sure. Say hi. Go right. <laughs> Good Honestly, I am so proud of you right now. to get tickets yeah no get tickets from there okay good thanks hey uh, hi can i get a ticket for the museum yeah only me and me i'm giving tourists right now right <laughs> uh, id cool what are you doing i started a youtube channel like two months ago Kritika Anita. Yeah. Yes. Please subscribe. Using your ID. Yeah. Oh, I love that badge. That's so cute. That one. Yeah. That's really so cute. cute. Is this a chill job? I can be. Can be. Thank you. What's your name? Angela. Angela. Thank you, Angela. See ya. Hey. I got the tickets. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? Yeah, I can yeah. Say hey. Uh, hey, thanks. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. I am officially obsessed. Turns out it isn't that scary to do the callings in public. I said people definitely look at you weird. Going up the stairs, I want to get to the place which has the animals because I think that would be really fun to sketch. I couldn't go to a real farm because the weather keeps switching up on me, so this is as close as I'm gonna get. Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
I just finished making it. It was so awkward because there's so many people who were like walking by here. But I'm really proud of myself. And now the first challenge is done, which was using pencils. Now I'm gonna try to use pen for the next one, but I think I'm gonna go to another place. Honestly, the sweetest people work here. for like hours all right i'm gonna sketch one of these because you can't come to a museum you really can't come to a museum without sketching bones at some point And that's the end of the museum tour. How fun was that? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This has built character development in a whole new way. Exposure therapy, I could do anything to be honest. And if this is what happens to me after recording like a videos from now. I mean, unstoppable, that's for sure. Okay, I said that and someone stared at me and I got awkward. Okay, this was such a fun experience and I am so glad I challenged myself. And I've said that before in the video, but this is really scary for me. Like, it's very easy for me. I really enjoyed it and that was the best part. Would I do it again? Yes. The last sketch, even though I didn't complete it, I was yeah, happy that I tried. I'm gonna go home and probably finish the sketch. If not, you know what? I was sweating throughout the experience at the museum and not because it was hard, but because <laughs> I was so anxious and just so scary. But like baby steps, be getting there. Also, can I tell you something about like often? Maybe I'm not in the right circles or whatever and people around me aren't like creative people. But it isn't normal to be out with a tripod recording. So it, I am so conscious. I don't know if you could tell. If not, I must be good at this. In places like New York and stuff, creativity in this way is 
I think slightly more common than it is in places like Auckland, at least in the circles that I'm around. I'm gonna put one of my Spotify playlists on and I'll also link them in the description below. And while I'm walking, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna jump to my playlist because today was a win. In my, in, oh, win, chill out. In one of my YouTube videos, I mentioned that I have this like, part-time job now i quit that part-time job so me getting this freelance opportunity was honestly when i quit my job yesterday i freaked the f out because i'm like what am i doing like i'm out here really like fully like my path isn't clear to me anymore so i was like fully freaking out and now i feel so much better because yesterday i was like how am i gonna make a living when i don't even like I literally don't even have a job when I feel a bit more chill about it because I'm like you know what we'll be fine we'll be fine because like what's the worst that can happen sometimes like I find it challenging to like believe in the universe and all of that sometimes but then there are times like this where I'm like yesterday I was like okay I'm open and receptive to opportunities please show me some like hope that all of these risks that I'm taking in life, putting myself out there creatively and like really challenging myself, please tell me it's gonna pay off. You know what? I'm seeing glimpses of hope and it's, it's making me feel good. All right, back in my car. It's time to head home, continue to listen to my August Spotify playlist. I've been creating playlists since 2019 very extra when it comes to my playlist and I love it like if I go back every month has like a collection of songs that remind me of exactly what I was feeling at the time what I was going through at the time musically a set of songs would remind me of a time in my life and ooh, I'm gonna sit to that and I'll see you in a bit this brings me to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I appreciate it I'm gonna have some lunch now don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm watching you. Please do it. It really means a lot. Love you. Have a nice day.